real for real.
listen, I'm over here going in. Do you understand me? John Simmons is beating that box right here. House talk on a Tuesday.
identification real quick. Don't forget this coming week, right here in late October, Chicago, we have two open to the public events. One this Thursday for our Thursday Eat Love Fest. Myself, Ron Carroll, Daryl Mellow Man, Sheldon Randolph, 7 to 11 p.m. And then on Saturday, Resurrection, 5 p.m. to midnight with Paul Johnson. We'll be back with more details later. John Simmons, y'all. Let's Let me 
put their hearts up right now. I want it to look like fireworks right now on the screen. John Simmons! Cheers. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me, Ron. See how professional he is? He just beat, he beat the skin off my body. I'm just a skeleton running around. He was like, thank you for having me. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you having me, Ron. It's an honor to, to play for you, my brother, Chicago house music legend. And uh, on your platform... Uh, for all these beautiful people. So thank you for having me today. Dude, and you know what's funny about this city, right? So John has always been on my radar, right, to bring here. The funny thing is, we're at an event, you know, to see Green Velvet. We, you know, and it's so happy that the space that they told me to pull my car into, to my left, John is in his car. You know what I'm saying? So the universe is, is amazing. And all of a sudden, I'm like, yo, John, what's up? Well, you know, he's like, what's up? What's good? We tell a few, you know, like, oh, he tells an old school story. We laugh. Then I'm like, yo, you should come on the show this coming week. He's like, sure, let's do what we got to do. And now he just came and beat the brakes. <sighs> Brother, thank first you. of all, thank you for being here. Man, I'm about great to, get, to be here, Ron. I'm about to get to some questions. First of all, what got you started in this game? What 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 lit that fire for you? Uh, well, you know, part of it, Ron, as you may know, is my father, Bob Simmons, who you exactly. worked with back in the day you rented speakers from. Yeah. Um, you know, we always had turntables and music around the house, so I always was into music growing up. But I really didn't want to be a DJ until I saw my buddy in high school uh, DJing. He brought a mixtape to band camp, and I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> right, and, right. And uh, listening to the DJs um, on, on KKC um, and B96 back in the day, because, you know, that was the early 90s. For sure. Um, that was how I get into it. I, so I just, I grew up a hip-hop and R&B kid, but... Early 90s, going to high school at St. Rita, a lot of those kids were in a house techno and freestyle. Exactly. And always loved house, but that was kind of the tipping point for me. And when I saw him doing it, I was like, man, this is what I want to do. That's what's up. Now, you know, your dad and I, I mean, we have this relationship with the sound system. And he used to always mention you. Always. Every party he set up for me, he would mention you. Like, my son is DJing, my son is... And, and, you know, the parties I was doing back then, I was just hired to do them. You know, I just always hired John. But, I, Bob, I'm sorry. But coming into the new age, brother, how you came into your own is something that I love. The fact that he always mentioned you. The fact that you grew into this game. You came into this game. You, you focused very, very serious on this game, and you stayed in. Now, what I'm watching you DJ with right now, because we all started with the vinyl. We went to the CD, 
right? right. USB. But now I'm looking at this device. Tell us about this device, bro, because it's killer. Yeah, so this device right here is the Roland DJ505 controller. Um, a few years ago, Roland came out with the DJ808, which was the first DJ controller that I know of that had a drum machine built into it. Wow. Um, it was pretty expensive at the time. It was about, uh, I don't know, thirteen, fourteen hundred, and I was like, ah. But when they came out with this two-channel version, right. I saw a Recluse do a video, uh, and it dropped on 808 Day 2017 because okay. they had just dropped their TR-08, which is the miniature version of, of the 808. Yeah. But they've got that drum machine in this controller, the 808, 909, 707, 606, as well as a ton of other ones. And when I saw that, I knew it was something I wanted. And it's, it's amazing because you can add your own drum beats to a set. You can live Christ. remix a set from the DJ controller. And it's also got MIDI output. So the acid that you were hearing throughout my set is another Roland Boutique um, item. It's called a TB-03, which is basically a recreation of the original 303. Right. Um, so with MIDI output, I can connect my 303 and boom, there you have it. Live remixing right there on the spot. Dude, this is crazy. I'm going to tell you some how things come back full circle. Do you remember the club called the Pleasure Dome? I think that was before my time, Ron. Okay, it's all right. It's, it was on 75th and Exchange. Okay. And Chip Veasley, Ferris Thomas, Steve Poindexter, a lot of people played there. Okay. And I'll never forget, uh, there was somebody playing there who brought their 909 to the party, made a track right then and there, and dropped it and killed the room. And I never forget that moment. And the fact that this device here has all of those components in it? Yeah. Are you yeah. the ambassador right now? Are you? Yeah, I'm uh, the Roland ambassador for Chicago. There's a few of us around the country, Philly, um, Atlanta, L.A., um, Hawaii, uh, a couple other places, New York. Uh, but I'm the Roland ambassador for Chicago. And we wow. did an event a couple years back with Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie performed live on the Roland DJ 808. Wow. Um, Hazmat, um, live tech from Detroit, Recluse, myself, Mass Transit, and Stephen P., um, as well as my boy Elroy. But yeah, I'm the I'm the Roland uh, DJ ambassador for Chicago. That's amazing. And and I'm telling you, I don't I'm the type of guy, John, I ain't gonna lie. Like when I see these new devices, I'm like, uh, eh, it makes DJing easy. I don't wanna be, you know, but that bruh. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, I might have to get me one. If y'all like that, I mean, can they holler at you about getting one? I mean, if people that's listening right now want to get because you're the ambassador you know what i'm saying if they want to get one how do they get one bro uh well you know if for the regular folks um obviously you can get it online at todd at guitar center um on halsted always hooks me up okay. as well as midwest stereo okay um also zounds downtown they're really good as well mm -hmm. um so you can reach out to them um otherwise i know there's a couple people k alexi who yeah. was uh he gets a couple rolling items. So I'm sure you yourself, Ron, could reach out and tell him who you are and be like, hey, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you drop me one of them controllers there? You know what's funny? I never, I never do that, John. It's crazy. Yeah. I never do that. Um, okay, music-wise, as far as tracks, have you been working on some things? I've got a few things. Uh, i got a few things up on my band camp. Okay. Uh, my most recent release was on TiVo Howard's label. Okay. Uh, TiVo's a good buddy of mine from Chicago who's – done his thing in you know Berlin and internationally. Oh. Um, and I got a release on his label that I produced with my buddy Andrew Pascal, okay. as well as uh, a joint with Scarlet Monk. So that's my most recent uh, EP. It's called the All I Can Say EP. Okay. Um, it's got a remix from TiVo himself, as well as Paul Johnson. Okay. Um, but the rest of my stuff is up on Bandcamp. It's still a work in uh, progress for me. Uh, but that is the most recent release, is the, uh, the one on TiVo's label. Now, I, I want you to tell people how to get your music, but before you do that, you know, a lot of people come to me and they say, Ron, you know, through the, these shows, you've introduced me to people I've never known before and didn't know how cold they were. I, I get that a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, of course, I know you for years and the people that we bring on there, but a lot of kids are like, yo, I never knew that guy at all. He yeah. called, he crazy. Yeah. So let the kids know that are watching that are being introduced to you right now. Where to find your music and where to find you, brother? Well, um, thanks for asking. You can find me at all my social networks at DJ John Simmons, that's DJ J-O-H-N-S-I-M-M-O-N-S, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
Uh, and my music is also up on SoundCloud. I've got more of my mi- uh, like tracks up on SoundCloud, but I've got like 100 plus mixes on my MixCloud. Dope. Um, as well as my band camp, which is also DJ John Simmons. And then also you can find the EP on uh, Spotify, that as well as another EP called the Welcome to Chicago EP on Spotify, Track Source, Beatport, but all the main main stuff, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, MixCloud, and Bandcamp. Okay, y'all have heard it. My man is letting you know where to find him. Get his music and support him. Trust me. We got a lot of cold people in Chicago, I'm telling you. Talent unbeknownst to the world. For some reason, Chicago, d- d- they don't seem to get that, that light, do they? No, it's just, I was, we're always lamenting in that in the scene about how we, I feel like we could be doing a lot better within the city as well as yeah. internationally as well. You're one of the people that's, that's done it. You know, we look up to you because you're out there traveling. So you're an inspiration to a, a lot it. of us, Ron. So I, we appreciate you for keeping that going, for representing Chicago. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I, but here's what I want to do from this, this moment, because I've been talking to our producer, uh, Francois. Um, I really think it's time for all the people that are underground to start a monopoly because I'm going to tell you something. These big companies, they are trying to monopolize everything, bro, and control everything. And I think that people who love things deeper, they, people who love things more uh, darker, if you were, dirtier, we need to get together, bro, and just do that, do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like even me, John, I'm not going to lie. We, we, most of my career... Was, was done off of the influence of a European agent saying, hey, Ron, play this type of style, boom, boom. And, and so now I'm at a point where I'm like, look, I want to go under the dirt. I want to dig. I want to I wanna be low, bro. I want to be underground deep. So I believe that uh, with the knowledge that I received from those people, we can make major moves with an unmajor sound. You feel me? I would love to see that, Ron. I'd love to see it. We've been talking. I mean, as you've been DJing, we were talking back and forth, me and Francois, I think that's something we're going to do, and that's something that we definitely want you to be a part of, and we're going to get some other brothers, and we're just going to start really sitting down, having meetings to create this this force because we need one. We need one real bad. I don't want to stay on too long because, you know, hey, all the people listen know I get a little preachy sometime. I know they like, stop talking, Ron. But to end the show, bro, thank you so much, John. We're going to bring you back for the Heat Love Fest. You need more time. You, you need it. Man, I appreciate it, Ron. I'm, I'm looking forward to being back, and uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And listen, guys, tomorrow we'll be back here on a Wednesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. But we have Shy town Shanny. Now, this is somebody who was asked for my partner, Jamal. He was like, yo, get my girl on there, get my girl on. So now we're going to have Shy town Shanny here tomorrow at 5. And don't forget both of our events open to the public, which is our Heat Love Fest on Thursday. That's myself, Daryl Melloman, and Sheldon Randolph, that's 7 p.m. to 11. Free entry, okay? Free entry. And on Saturday is the resurrection party. We know the legend, the crazy one. I call him the crazy one. Paul Johnson will be here banging the box along with Victor R. DJ Sheik and some others, all right? So thank you again, John. We appreciate you. We love you. For all of those watching and listening, we appreciate you. And have a wonderful evening. Until tomorrow, this is House Talk. We out. Peace.